How's it going everybody? In this video, uh, I'm going to show you guys another Windows tip. Uh, so this is going to be um, killing tasks in your task manager. Uh, so for instance, if you have a program running and it freezes up, how do you kill it so that uh, you can reopen it and unfreeze your computer? Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to launch my PuTTY program here. It's just a SSH and Telnet client. So if I want to kill this guy, uh, there's multiple ways. So the easiest way is to open up Task Manager. Uh, so you can do that through Control-Alt-Delete, or you can right-click your taskbar and click Task Manager. And then go ahead and locate the name of your program. Uh, so here's mine. So I'm just going to click that and click End Task. Boom, gone. So now that guy is completely closed out. Uh, the second way is through Command Line. Um, so if you type in your search bar, CMD, you can open up your command prompt. Now to see the list, of uh, processes running, you can type in task uh, list, and then you can see everything running here. So let's go ahead and clear that. Um, in order to clear your command line, type in CLS, so that clears that. And then uh, let me open up uh, PuTTY one more time. All right, so then if I do task list, now I can see PuTTY right here. So now if I wanna kill that guy, um, it's gonna be task kill and then it's gonna be slash im, and then the name, putty.exe, and it's gone. And then um, instead of using the name, you can actually use what they call a PID number. Um, so it's found right here. So if you wanna do that, um, let's go ahead and clear that, open up putty one more time. There we go. So if I go task list, uh, the number here is 818740. So that command is going to be task kill PID and then 18740. And then it's gone. Uh, but usually it's easy to do, do it by the name um, because you know the name uh, pretty handily. All right. So the last one I'm going to show you guys is through PowerShell. So you can also kill processes in PowerShell. So go ahead in your search bar, type in PowerShell, open that guy up. Now to get the list of processes running, well, let me boot up Putty here. You can type in uh, git process, hit enter, and now it's gonna give you that long list of processes. So if I scroll up, and it's in alphabetical order, I can see PuTTY right here. Um, so the ID of this guy is 6328. If we scroll up, we can see this is a column for ID. Um, so first, let's kill it by name. So that's gonna be uh, stop process and then dash name, and then putty, and then there it goes. And then now if I want to do it by ID, let's open up putty again. We'll clear the screen, and then we'll go show, oh, no, not show, uh, git process. We'll locate the ID of that program, so it's 3232. So then I can go stop process and then dash ID, and then the name, which was 3232, and now it's gone. Um, so yeah, that's uh, pretty much it. Um, now another thing to note as well, um, the commands I showed you, you can also, um, you can also force them to close. Uh, so for instance, if I um, have PuTTY open one more time, and then I go task list, um, so putty.exe, so I can go task kill and then uh, slash F to force and then slash IM and then putty.exe and that'll um, terminate it uh, forcefully. So, you know, you just won't get like a prompt or anything. It'll just force close it. Um, for PowerShell, um, you're going to type in uh, stop process and then uh, name putty and then dash force. Um, so actually let me open up putty so we can test it out. Boom. And then if I do slash force, boom, gone. So that'll force to close this. So if you have problems with the other commands, just type in uh, force or slash F and that should kill it for you. So uh, there you have it. So just uh, another tip to show you guys how to kill processes in Windows 10. If you guys found this uh, very useful, please subscribe and uh, we'll talk to you guys later.